Let's turn overseas now and the war in Ukraine, where more than a dozen civilians are dead and dozens more hurt after Russian forces bombed a crowded shopping mall in the central city of Kremenchuk. CBS's Remy Innocencio is there. Thick black smoke billowed from this shopping center in the central Ukrainian city of Kremenchuk this afternoon, the handiwork of Russian missiles. From inside, a man yelled to someone to follow him to safety, while outside, firefighters battled the flames and the wounded were loaded into ambulances. Just a day ago, residents of Ukraine's capital of Kyiv watched as a barrage of Russian rockets glided over buildings, hitting a kindergarten playground and this apartment complex. Six people were hurt, including this seven-year-old girl and her Russian mother. Her father died. Against this latest backdrop of Russia's four-month-old war in Ukraine, leaders of the G7 countries meeting in the German Alps pledged even more retribution against the Kremlin. While NATO, its leaders meeting later this week in Spain, said it would increase to more than 300,000 the level of high readiness troops, part of its biggest defense overhaul since the Cold War. And as Ukraine's president, Vladimir Zelensky, called for yet more modern and effective defenses from the international community. Some have started to arrive. These destroyed Russian military trucks near the Kharkiv front line are thought to be from the first strikes of U.S.-supplied guided rocket systems, known as HIMARS, that made their way into Ukraine just days ago. But not in time to turn the tide for the eastern city of Severodonetsk. Ukraine ordered a retreat over the weekend, handing the city to Russian forces. And here in the capital, those recent rocket attacks, the first in three weeks, are a reminder that even though they've become rare, this city of three million people is still very much within reach of Russia's military at any time. Nora? Ramina Asensio, thank you very much.